Hey everybody, it's Nicole, um, and it is uh, Wednesday, and uh, today we are going to unmold uh, that little experiment that I've been working on. So if you remember, uh, we poured that last bit of resin, um, and then put a little bit of glitter, and then did the alcohol ink, and now we're going to unmold it and see how it all turned out and um you know if it got the look that i was sort of aiming for um a couple of things um before we get to that um is uh, don't forget i do have a giveaway going on it uh ends uh midnight tonight um i will put the link uh, to that particular video if you want to enter i'm uh giving away uh, some uh, Premier yarn and then uh, some Mills Ends. Uh, it's, it's quite a bit of yarn in uh, this beautiful like royal purple color. Uh, you'll see it in the video uh, and um, so if you want to check it out please do um, and uh, enter uh, and uh, yeah so and then the other thing is uh, I have been thinking that I want to start um, like picking a day of the week. I don't you know, I don't know which day it'll be, but um, where I can talk about, you know, like it being like a like a wellness Wednesday or like a self care, you know, day where we can where I can talk about how important it is to take care of yourself and, and things like that. So, um, so yeah, so I was thinking that's definitely something that I wanted to incorporate in, um, you know, my channel. Uh, and then along with all the other fun stuff with, you know, the resin art and then the unboxing of, of yarn and anything else that I get in, um, and so, um, I do, I did get, um, my mystery box from Lion Brand. Uh, so I will be, um, unboxing that and posting, uh, the unboxing of that. I got some Happy Meal. I'll be sharing that as well. Um, and then, um, I don't know. I, my ha fingers have been kind of itchy on uh, wanting to purchase a little bit of yarn. I don't know what I want to buy if I want to go say to Joanne's or to um, Hobby Lobby and picking up you know some stuff and then sharing with you my haul because I haven't gotten a chance to go back to pick up you know certain items that I've wanted to pick up so that's another thing um, but yeah, so so there's those those things that I uh, wanted to share with uh, you guys. So and then um, what is what else? I am. So my husband is going to be uh, traveling starting on Sunday, and um, so he is going to be training to be a airport firefighter which uh so he'll be gone for about a week or so and um this will be his first time to florida and um i've been to florida a couple of you know a couple of times because of well i haven't gone to jacksonville which is where he's going to be going um obviously i've been to orlando for you know Disneyland and, and stuff or Disney World sorry um so I've been to Florida so um I'll be interested to see what his opinion of Florida is because he thinks of Florida uh, is uh at, you know alligator land uh so in any case um while he's gone I uh told the boys that this is our chance to uh you know spend time with mom and so I told them that each of them can pick out a couple of places to eat and, you know, hang out with me and whatever. 
and uh, you know we'll go out and do stuff like that so uh, my youngest loves this uh, ramen place it's uh, in the back of the Asian market we have here and uh, while it is is as uh, authentic as you can get in comparison to what uh, I, we would get in Hawaii. So it's good. Uh, I have no complaints and it's fairly inexpensive and it's become um, my son's and myself uh, favorite place to go to uh, grab a, a bowl of uh, ramen. Uh, they have many things on their menu, uh, not just ramen. They have pho, which is the Vietnamese noodles. They've got plasticers and spring rolls and stuff like that. So um, I know he's looking forward to that and, and all of that. So, uh, so yeah, uh, that's my plan. Uh, and then I, I know that a couple of you have asked me about possibly making crochet hooks uh, and possibly selling them. And I don't know how I want to approach that. I was thinking whether or not it would work to put a metal hook like you know your boy hook in a silicone mold that is like similar to a like a crystal like a single crystal mold and um and using that as a signature Nicole or AKA fibromyalgia uh, yarn resin hook. And because I, a, a couple of you have said that if I do make them, that you would buy them. Um, so, but I don't, you know, I would have to take a look at the molds that I have for practicality uh, wise so that you would be able to use them. Um, so, uh, I think I have a couple of ideas in my mind. And so I was thinking, hmm, maybe if I pick up a couple of, you know, uh, boy hooks or whatever, and, um, put them in the, the mold with resin that way with some glitter and some, you know, alcohol ink or whatever it is. Um, and especially now because it's cold, um, the resin would be obviously a lot more viscous and then have the resin sit for a bit so that it starts to cure a little um, before I pour it into the mold. And then, um, then I can also put my uh, the hook inside of said mold and then um, you let it cure around the hook that way. And then would that be, you know, the, depending on how it comes out and the way that I would sand things down, would that be something you guys would be interested in, in picking up as far as an item from me as a signature, uh, crochet item per se? I don't know. You guys will have to let me know because uh, I know because I I have seen molds for like full resin, um, like for example, um, furls hooks. Uh, the ones that I've seen, I would not be able, feel, I would not feel comfortable making hooks with because of the reviews that I've seen on them with how unsteady they are and how uh, they're, you know, like once I would end up being flat and wonky and obviously that is not how I would want the, the hook to turn out. So, um, so yeah, I'll take a look because I do have some extra uh, hooks I'll show you uh, that I have not used. So like this here. I haven't even taken out the package. So the resin would be like on this portion of the hook, like maybe a little bit, you know, less, if you can see there. And then, you know, I could put, you know, my spin on it. And then I would have to figure out, you know, a way to make it mine. I don't, I don't know how I would stamp it or whatever. Um, but 
uh, yeah, so that's something that maybe that can be another project that I can do on camera as a pre-recorded video. And then uh, depending on how I feel within the next couple of days before my husband leaves, uh, I may want to, I might want to do a couple of lives uh, with you guys um, and uh, you know, whether it's resin pours or whatever it might be, and, um, we can have some fun. So, so yeah, that's that. So let's get to unmolding. Um, we'll see how hard or how easy it is, is going to be to get this, uh, resin to come off the mold because of, the way the mold is and you know it, sometimes it's easy and sometimes it is not so easy so i am going to pause the video flip the camera over and i will see you on the other side uh so we can uh see me struggle get uh to get the uh resin a completed resin piece out and it was funny is i actually had a nightmare last night that when i unmolded it uh, it was not cured and all of the resin came falling out of uh, the mold liquidy and it was horrendous and embarrassing. So keep your fingers crossed that all works out. All right. Oh, and uh, so with the giveaway, I will um, that ends today. I will um, I'll have to remember to uh, put the link in the description of this video uh and so that you know if you're still interested in entering uh all you have to do is click on the link and it'll it'll take you to the video and you can watch it and enter if you want to um because there is a good deal of of yarn that i'm giving away all right so um let's go on um this is just a quick um post edit uh edition uh that i'm gonna stick inside the video um this video does have a giveaway in it so as usual i need you to watch the video from beginning to end to be able to enter it um i ask that you be subscribed uh and then please give it a thumbs up comment below and then uh, hit the notification button for any new videos that I um, post. And then also, please, if you can, give me a chance um, with what I have in my videos and um, you know, stick around. You never know if you enjoy what I make um, with my upcoming videos or you can check out all of my older videos that I have. Um, so if you subscribe, definitely don't un unsubscribe after the um, winners have been announced. I would really, really appreciate that. Thanks. Okay, so here we are back. And uh, I I've, I've flipped the camera so you can see right inside of the mold where looks like everything is uh, nice and cured. And uh, if you remember, I didn't pour it all the way up to the top. Um, because I did not, there was a certain look that I was going for, um, to have a wider, uh, base. So I am just going to slowly separate the mold, uh, from the resin and hopefully not struggle too much to get it out. Okay, so I am going to pause it. I'm going to see if I can at least get the mold halfway down here and see if we can get out the, get it out the rest of the way um, on camera. Be right back. Okay, so I managed to get the mold, as you can see, about three quarters of the way off of... Uh, the piece and now I am going to do the big ta-da and you can see what it looks like. I'll hold it up closer to the camera uh, once I've gotten the mold completely off so you can see it up close. 
um, from the top, from the side, from the bottom. Um, and we'll see if um, I manage to achieve um, what I was looking to achieve. All right, so there we go. And I just need to turn the mold right side out. Just give me one second here. All right. There's like all these little pieces of resin. I just wanna, they're like all over me. All right, so, all right, so, uh, it's okay. It's not exactly what I was looking for. I'm just wondering if I held this up to a light, if it would be more visible i don't know i can see the flower um and if you can see the alcohol ink that came down and i can see um you can see the glitter I'm not a hundred percent on this, and you know here's the 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 gemstones that I put down um and I can kind of see the crochet puff flower um maybe if I had picked just white um or a different color in its entirety, it wouldn't look quite so muddy um so I mean. I'm okay with it. I don't necessarily see the line of resin, but I know it's there. Um, and I think part of that is what is bothering me as well. Um, but uh, let's see, what else? What else, what else? Um, I mean, this is what it looks like when it, you know, say you were to sit it on a table and, you know, if you were to look at it from the side, you don't really kind of see the flower in its entirety. So that's why I said if I had picked maybe, maybe um, the hot pink out of that uh, bubblegum yarn, maybe it would look better and I'd be a little more pleased. Um, so, I mean, it's okay. I'm not super happy about it, but I'm not like, wow, fantastic. Um, but I mean, you do see the Petri dish look um, somewhat and um, if I hold it sideways, you can kind of see it. But like I said, this isn't exactly what I would consider my best work. I'm not like, wow, you know? I would say on a scale of one to 10, I give this like maybe a four of my work. I've done better. Um, so, at, you know, and like I said, it's an experiment. It's it's a work in progress, um, and I know what I need to do next time to make it better. Um, I think this was the right mold to use, though, um, to get the effect that I was looking for. Um, especially if you know you're looking for something like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take this outside. And I am going to um, take a picture of it um, in the sunlight and see if it makes it look better. And I'll you know, put it in the video. 
Um, and then the other thing is, is um, I am, uh, I do want to do a, uh, a giveaway um, for uh, this particular series for those of you who have stuck with me through all of this. So, um, yeah, um, hold on one second. Okay, sorry, I needed to step away. Um, I was just irritated with the way it looked. Um, I don't know. Um, part of me just wants to toss it in the garbage. I know it's a work in progress and that it's an experiment and stuff, but I, I'm my own worst critic, but it is what it is. But anyway, um, so, um, for those of you who have stuck with me through this series and, and whatnot, um, I am hoping, uh, that you enjoy the, you know, experiment and the thought progress that I had through the, the entirety of this. And, um, so I do want to give, do a giveaway, um, and, um, what my plan is, is, uh, to, um, I want to, I am going to give away, um, and I'll show you in just a second here. Um, so I had gotten a mystery box from Darn Good Yarn, and it had all of um, the Knit Crate, some Knit Crate yarns. And I'll show you the yarns that I am going to be giving away. And yes, you will be getting all of this yarn, okay? If you are allergic to wool, please, you know, you may not want to enter. Um, so... Um, it's going to be um, two hanks of um, this pink uh, Vitalana silhouette, which is uh, in, well, it's Misty Dawn, 50% uh, superwash merino wool and 50% tensile fingering weight. Uh, 400 yards or 100 grams. So it's this one here. And then two hanks of um, Audine Wool's flannel in Buffalo. So it's 47% uh, Surrey alpaca, 38% alpaca wool, and 15% non super uh, wash merino in DK weight. 231 yards and 100 grams. And that's two hanks of this. And then two hanks of uh, the uh, Audin Wool's Mellow in high and dry. 80% alpaca, 20% tensile and bulky weight. 125 yards and 100 grams. And that's what that looks like. And then... Um, And it's the Knitology in clay pot, 100% merino wool and DK weight, 236 yard or 100 grams. And it's in this color here. So that's two, four, um, six, eight hanks of yarn. So um, if you remember, I said that there would be a quiz later. And uh, just like with all giveaways, uh, you have to watch uh, the video from beginning to end. Um, so all I ask is that you watch uh, this video from, from beginning to end. And, um, or that you have watched this video from beginning to end. And um, if you can tell me 
in a sentence. Um, in a sentence, or actually, no, I take that back. Okay, so um, I am right now. I'm giving you the uh, the word that I want you to use, and uh, the giveaway is open uh, uh, internationally. So wherever you live, you can enter if you want to, and uh, so uh, number. Uh, the word that I will, wait, sorry, my brain is getting all muddled. Okay, first off, um, I've purchased all that yarn myself, um, and uh, YouTube has uh, no association with the giveaway. Uh, you must understand all of uh, YouTube's, um, you know, conditions and all of that stuff. You must be 18 years or older to enter. Foy were prohibited, and um, and you have to use the uh, or you have to be subscribed. Um, I would appreciate it if you give um, my videos a like and uh, you hit the notification bell uh, for whenever I post a new video, um, and that. You use uh, the specific word in um, a sentence in the comment below. Uh, so, the word that I would like you to use is artwork. I guess that's two words, artwork, okay? So use artwork in a, in a sentence and put it in the comment below. And then, um, so today is Wednesday, the 31st of January, and I will leave it open for a week. Uh, so I will close it next week, Wednesday, and then I will draw for it um, and I will, you know, that's midnight on Wednesday next week. And then I will, uh, try to remember to draw for it on Sunday, uh, next week, Sunday. And, uh, just so you are aware, if somebody comments and says that you won, it's not me. I would not say that on the video. I will make a separate video stating that you have won like I did in my last one. Um, and then you will, you know, you'll have to uh, email me and all that stuff with your contact information. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the process. Um, my next couple of videos are going to be about, you know, um, self care and then unboxings and all that fun stuff. And then, um, We'll try the crochet hook and uh, you guys can tell me after that little experiment whether or not, you know, it's something that you'd be interested in buying. Uh, so um, until then, uh, don't forget about the giveaway I have going on uh, that ends today. And then I will be drawing for it on Sunday, um, the 4th. So I will until then. Uh, until I see you in the next one, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.